I play with people from a variety of skill brackets and experience levels in Hunt Showdown, and sometimes when I'm being spectated, a person will say, I didn't know you could do that. So I have compiled a list of 10 tips that might help you be a better Hunt Showdown player. Some you may know, some you may not, so let's do it. Number one, throwables make cover. People often ask Crytek for a smoke bomb, but really, it isn't necessary. Most throwables in the game provide some form of visual cover. Fire bombs produce a thick smoke for two minutes. Concertina bombs offer some physical protection. Choke bombs obscure vision. And explosives like dynamite sticks produce large clouds of smoke. All of these options are great for risky revives or crossing dangerous open spaces. As a bonus tip, if someone has you pinned from an elevated position, you can time choke bombs and dynamite to detonate in the air. Number two, you can clear poison clouds with choke bombs. With update 1.9, poison loadouts are about to see a resurgence which means you might run into some poison clouds. Just be aware of the coughing, and this applies to choke bolts from the hand crossbow too. Number three, ignore window focus. Are you a multifaceted gamer? Maybe you just need a minute to subscribe to Home Reel while the boss is banishing? Well, in the audio settings, you can check this box, ignore window focus, which keeps Hunt audible when running in the background. This is great if you are queuing for random trios or just waiting for the boss to banish, but um, don't blame me if you die while you're alt tabbed. Number four, you can see weapon stats if you hit escape. There, you'll see what your partners are carrying and the stats for your own weapon. This is great if you are trying new weapons out or still learning the game. Stats like damage and muzzle velocity are readily available. Number five, find a gun with your ammo type. This is pretty common, I think, but some people might forget. If you are running low on ammo, you can find another hunter's gun with the same ammo type, pick it up, and then pick up your weapon again. You will then have the hunter's extra ammo. Just be sure to reload before you pick up their weapon. Number six, sprint during gunshots. Firing a weapon causes audio distortion. The bigger the bullet, the more distortion. What this means for you, practically, is when you are approaching a gunfight, especially if you hear lots of shooting, the safest time to move is during and after gunshots. Your footsteps will be harder to hear and you just might be able to set up that risky ambush. Number seven, you can close some doors from a distance. Crank doors and lever doors create interesting obstacles, but sometimes you no longer want the access point. You can close lever doors by shooting the red lever and you can close crank doors by shooting the wheel. This won't always come in handy, but it is a safe way to deny entry while in cover. Number 8. Hold R for a partial reload. Many weapons lose a bullet if you reload before they are empty. So, if you are taking the Mosin, the Labelle, the Terminus, or the Spectre, you can reload between shots to preserve that wasted bullet. So, fire. Tap reload before another round is cycled, and you will insert a bullet or shell. No bullet grubber needed. It is worth noting this doesn't work on the Bertier. Number nine, hold key to switch item slots. Pretty new addition, but good to know. If you are accustomed to having certain items on certain keys, you can switch your items in game. Pull out the item you want to move and hold down the key you want it assigned to. Just be aware it has to be a bound tool or consumable key whatever you are switching. This is great if you recruited a free hunter and want to keep the consumables they come with. Number 10, auto interact. Back in your settings, you can check this box, auto interact with objects. When you hold the interact key, you will automatically interact with objects around you. This works for ammo, throwing knives and axes, bolts and arrows, and thrown consumables if you have Dauntless. It might not save you, but it is a pretty handy option to have enabled. And that's it. That is 10 tips that might help you in Hunt. Let me know if you learned anything and drop your own tips in the comments. Until the next video, goodbye. Just can't kill my boss.